I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good morning, good morning, Donna Still. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful morning? Mm, it's um, beautiful here as well in London, um, and I am doing amazingly well. That's good. So. Great to hear. Well, do tell us, Donna, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Mm, the, probably the one that is responsible for us connecting is the one that's a little bit curious, but mm. also very proactive. Right. So, yeah. Proactive curiosity. That sounds great, doesn't mm. it? Mm. Mm. That, so, that sums me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, who did you learn that from? Mm. Actually, I think it's something that, well, my parents were very proactive, but um, the curiosity did, definitely didn't come from my parents. I think that's something that I've acquired as I've matured. Um, yeah, the, my parents, my I was always curious, even as a ch- very young child. And my dad used to always, I remember him always saying, you know, like curiosity killed the cat, but I never <laughs> let it heal my curiosity. <laughs> Why will you continue to repeat the skills, even though you know there is a danger that the curiosity may kill the cat? Mm. Because I am just wired that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I'm who just I am. wired. Yeah. yeah, it's the way I am. I just can't help it. It's just like, what's this shiny new thing over here? That looks interesting. <laughs> And, and in I dive before I've even had the opportunity to even contemplate it. Hmm. Explain your name for me, the, the diamond detective, please, that you have hmm. uh, scripted in here. Yeah. So the diamond detective came out of a fundamental belief that I have that everybody, no matter who they are, where they come from, what experience they've had, they, they have something of value to offer the world now for me that you know that having had so many init- what I now call initiations um, and growing up thinking that I was not you know didn't have relevant skills didn't have this didn't have that wasn't enough blah 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 um, a similar story to many people I realized as an adult more that Everybody has something, and all those experiences that you know are, are the, where the diamond is, and where you know where they can. If if we just learn to view them in a way that is constructive for us, it can also be constructive for other people. Hmm. Makes sense. I like it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, where's the best place for people to connect with you? And um, well, on Facebook, I've got a Facebook business page which is at the Diamond Detective. Um, yeah, that's the best place to connect because then we can actually interact. All right, all right. And what's one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years, Donna? Mm, well, that curiosity has got me into learning so many different modalities. So, over the last three years, I think. I have exploded my awareness and hmm. expanded it into places that I didn't even know existed before. Hmm. You know, like with um, using plants, using you know breath work um, and energy work. You know, like the um, Reiki and and all that. So I'm, I'm an eternal student. Um, constantly learning new things and yeah so I think I'll probably carry that on Hmm. how does that make you feel it's amazing it's um I find the um the whole learning process and you know when when we've when I've learned the new skills I feel like this newfound liberation and freedom and 
yeah to, if, just the freedom to explore that's what i find to, yeah what drives me why would you suggest to someone that's out there that's just beginning on their journey that they do what you've done by um you know just expanding in your curiosity proactive curiosity if you would mm. um it's a really good question i think <laughs> If they're looking for adventure, just be open to what shows up, and if it and if it resonates, to just really go with it, and to um, yeah, just to be in the flow of that curiosity. Just yeah, that that word keeps coming into my head. The yeah. curiosity is just yeah, it is like, what it is. Yeah. 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 There's no other word to fill the space of curiosity at this time. I mean, you are the diamond detective, right? The curiosity is important. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, Donna, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Mm -hmm. So, Donna, what is your earliest childhood memory? Mm. My earliest childhood memory is of a spider, funny enough, um, in the bedroom. I think I was about mm, two, 18 months to two, and I can remember the corner of the bedroom and this spider being in a you know, great big black thing, you know, the sort with the hairy legs. And um, we lived above a um, what was a co-op shop we had a, a flat above that when I was very young and my dad used to work in the bakery at the time and um, obviously at two I didn't realize that my dad was absolutely petrified of spiders but he you know he didn't kill it but he removed it and and one of the things that I learned from that experience was that he you know, overcame his absolute terror of spiders to protect us because they didn't, because it was one of those big black hairy spiders and we lived above a store that had, um, you know, the, all sorts of shipments from all around the world. Hmm. He was terrified that it could have been a poisonous spider. That's intriguing. How do you see that memory mm. connecting to who you are today? And. Um, it's the overcoming the fear. So in service of others, that, that memory, um, I realized that he overcame his own personal fear in the service of us as children. And it's one of the things that I think I, is the, the biggest lesson that I had learned from my dad is that he was constantly doing that throughout his entire life. You know, he was, um, while he was working in the bakery, he went to um, night school to learn plumbing. Uh, but there was those constant things that he was overcoming. And I think that was where I'd got this eternal student um, thing from. I don't right. know what else to call it. The thing. Yeah. <laughs> the student curiosity. Yeah, exactly. And that's intriguing. That's a beautiful picture. I love how you connected the dots. I don't think you need my help there. Uh, I think it's it's just fascinating. The one thing I would say uh, that I, I find amazing is that at that particular point in time, to see your mind uh, just capture all of the emotions that were playing. like like uh, And again, I'm guessing at that point in time, you didn't really understand it, but over time, in looking back, mm. you understand it. I just, yeah. yeah, that is just fascinating to just see your mind capturing everything is going on there, being able to replay it and say, wow, he was doing that in fear. That's why he mm. did it that way. Um, mm. So I'm guessing you are very curious and you've been back to these memories in your mind a few times. So it speaks to your curiosity, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And and actually, when when you when one works with um, meditation and breath work and plant medicines and things like that, I, there is no choice. It takes us to those places where we have 
the biggest things to learn. Mm, love it. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Mm. My favorite song when I was 12. Do you know what? I was really struggling to find a particular song, but it was probably something by the Bay City Rollers or David Soul or um, David Cassidy, Donny Osmond. You know, they were all the heartthrobs of the time. <laughs> Does and, one song uh, pop out in your mind, though? Um, no, funny okay. enough, All right. it doesn't. You're not the first, you won't be the last, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, it was, yeah, there's not one song that pops out. I mean, I, one memory does, and I think it was um, playing rounders on the school field, um, and the whole team was singing a, a Donna Summer song, but yeah. Hmm. You're good. That's, that's the only... Yeah, that's it's the cool. only song specifically. No pressures, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Donna, well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, or possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Donna? Yeah. Donna, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Um, no. Are you married? I am. Do you have children? I do, do four. You, ooh, wow. Do you believe in God? Um, I believe there's a greater power, and if that's God, as in not religious type of God, but in there's a greater power bigger than us. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. Do you watch yeah. TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Mm. Possibly. What about screen it's time? Very sensitive. All right. Um. Yeah. Eight. Uh, screen Wait, time. Let me ask you: more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Mm, probably more than eight. Oh. No. No, it's not eight. Actually, it's not more than eight hours a day. I'm going too quickly. Should I slow down? Am I doing this too quickly? I'm confusing you, aren't I? Um, no, it's all right. <laughs> actually, it's the difference between screen time and TV time. Oh, you know, like, so TV is separate. Screen, screen, screen is like computer, which is re TV is really like a screen, but let's yeah. separate it and let yeah. it be the computer and or the phone. Yeah. I mean, that's probably more than eight then, if I'm really honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if, if you had to share with us, Donna, your own unique real statement, the statement that represents Donna still, what would you say that is? Mm, I will find that diamond within you, even if I had to shake you upside down and everything has to fall out. <laughs> I will expose it. Donna Still, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Um, yes, I have a, a one-day retreat coming up in um, uh, March. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, <laughs> Let's leave it. It's okay. We'll fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Donna, still, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.